All right, what's up everybody? Just thought I'd do a video showing an old skateboarding magazine. This is the June 1988 issue of Transworld Skateboarding. And I have pretty much all my old mags from, you know, 87 through 94, the years I was most into skateboarding. And they're not all in the best shape. I read and reread these. Remember, we didn't have YouTube or a lot of videos back then so this is where you got your skateboard uh, info and everything from and if there was a picture of Nottis or Gons I probably tore it out and had it on my wall so I figure we'll just open this up I do have it in a protective sleeve to keep it from getting even more trash but let's take a look see what's in here I haven't looked at these in years so Stay, bear with me, I'm having trouble getting this tape off of this bag. Sorry about that. Alright, this is the Transworld Skateboarding Magazine, June 1988. And we'll just take a look through, see what's in here. There's a Dan Wilkes ad right there. And a Sims ad, Team Sims. Jeff Phillips, Buck Smith, who I've seen skate in person at Kona, and he's a total ripper, so probably underrated, since most people probably don't even know who Buck Smith is these days. Probably didn't back then either, but I knew who he was. And there's a Riordan Kryptonics ad. I don't know if you could see that. And there's a tracker team ad. And let's see. Don't see Adrian Domain in there. Oh, there he is. He's in the back row. Everybody's favorite ukulele player, Adrian Domain. There's a Jimmy Z ad. Kind of hard to show these magazines on this setup I have here. So there's a picture that was torn out. That was probably not us or Mark Gonzalez. There's an ad for the Skull Skates Dead Guys board, which I think they reissued once upon a time. The Walker Exterminator. A guy I used to skate with back in the day had that board and it was pretty cool. Had a nice concave to it. Um, there's a Lance Mountain Quicksilver ad. Lagoons. Who remembers Lagoons? Not me. And there's a Bill Toko GNS ad. He was pretty rad. He's in, uh, I think it's Ohio Skate Out or Savannah Slam one of them. Pretty impressive. And uh, there's, of course, that guy. And Johnny Cop and Lee Ralph with that guy. Here. Oh, there's Bill Danforth, Life's a Beach ad. Very cool. How cool would it be to get that Bones Brigade hand plant poster now? It'd be pretty dang cool, I would imagine. Have it framed. You could buy it from uh, J. Grant Britton's website, but it's super expensive. And there's Hosoy in Paris doing a little smith on a brick wall there, brick bank of some kind. There's TA for a rector. 
and it looks like more pages torn out so that was probably a Nottis or a Gons picture my bedroom wall back then was just filled with those any ad that had Nottis or Gons in it I tore it out and put it on my wall Not a whole lot going on here, a bunch of vert stuff. Uh, there's Jeff Grosso. You know, I never appreciated Grosso in the 80s at all. I just thought he was just a goofy dude that skated vert, but I didn't really appreciate him till Love Letters with skateboarding. Some freestyle, still in the magazines. I guess freestyle stayed in the magazines till like 89 or 90. And then it just upped and vanished like a fart in the wind. Yep, article on freestyle. Probably wouldn't see that in any magazines after 1990. Let's see, doesn't look like I picked a good issue to pull out. Basically, was just hoping to see some ads and stuff that bring back good memories. Is that Jason Jesse? I mean, look how high out he is and all tweaked. Dude had some style for sure. And his Sun God board was actually a sweet street board. I rode the uh, Sun God quite a few times, and I could rip that up on street, so. And it looks like the pro spotlight this time around was Rob Roscop. I never liked his boards. I mean, the graphics were, like, iconic for the 80s, but, oh, here's some stuff on Gleaming the Cube. They were making Gleam in the Cube. I just showed that VHS tape the other day in one of my videos. More on the set stuff from Gleam in the Cube. But, you know, I like that movie. The whole part where he's like skateboarding under a semi truck on the freeway was kind of silly. And that huge air at the end was dumb, but. Pretty good movie. There's Lee Ralph. Had that picture been not two separate pages, I probably would have put that on my wall back in the day. I like Lee Ralph. I like Lee Ralph's boards too, they were pretty good. Is that cab? It's a sweet nose pick right there. Look how high, look how tall that vert is. Straight nose pick in it. Hawk. Christian. I think that was a Super Bowl halftime show. Hard to get this magazine on the camera. Sorry about that. My tripod has huge legs that stick out, so. I may just, if I do another magazine video, I'll try to just hold it in my hand and go through it. Skateboarding is not a crime. The original fingerboard keychain. That would be before Tech Deck. Epic Skateboards. There you go. Remember that? They had a guy named Eddie Gomez. Who skated for them is that? No, that's not him. Anyway, he had a sweet board with a real pointy nose and a super high kicktail. I love that board. A buddy of mine had one, but I could never find one to get for myself. But I mean, that board was just awesome. That happened with a lot of skate companies. Like somebody get one, a friend or something, but they, I guess the skate shops just didn't order them, so. 
you didn't get uh, many shots to buy them. And there is Jeff Jones for Veriflex. That's kind of a kooky ad. He's photoshopped like he's backside air, doing a backside air over the city. And uh, kind of silly. But kind of cool at the time. You know, if you've seen that when you were 14, you probably thought it was cool too. Although I don't know anyone that ever had a Veriflex Jeff Jones board. I think they sold those at Sears with the other toy Veriflexes. I'm not sure. Now, here you go. Sorry about that. That dang tripod. Airborne. Now, that was a skateboard company. I had an Airborne Peanut Brown, and that was a killer deck. I mean, it had great concave and a steep tail. It was like an Alva H Street tail. It was nice. And doesn't look like there's much interesting in here, just black and white ads for skateboard shops. Anybody remember? Alright, I'm gonna take okay, sorry about that. That tripod is just all in my way. Do you remember illusion skateboards? I don't. Tommy Guerrero, Ghost Skate Mail Order, Pacific Sunwear, get your gotcha and your Vision Streetwear. Hey, look at that. Adrian Domain with uh, Steve Vai's guitar. How cool is that? surf style you see all the shirts they have for sale free flight I remember them circle a that was a company that I always seen in the magazines but I never seen their boards in any shops and nobody I knew ever had one so Get the Hosoi, Billy Ruff, Fred Smith, Ross Gop, that guy we don't talk about, Gons, the classic Gons face board, which they sold from like 1986 to still selling it today in 2023. Um, FTC. Yeah, this looks like it's all just going to be black and white stuff. There's a Z Trucks ad, I'm not sure who that is. Oh, Jimmy Acosta. I remember that name from back in the day. And there's Lester and his big Oak Leaf graphic. Is that what it's called? An Oak Leaf, I think. Lester. Surprised that didn't go up on my wall. But really, at the time, I wasn't really too into putting up vert stuff on my wall. Here's an Airwalk ad cartoon thing. They did this as a running series for a, a while. Tony Magnuson, H Street ad. Is Tony coming over today? Yeah, he should be dropping by sometime. How about that? some sessions board shop get you a peace sign shirt or Ramon sex pistols dead Kennedy's DRI cramps misfits very cool and there's a Chris Miller ad for his uh, Schmidt sticks board friend of mine who I was just talking about in another video who passed away had that board that Chris Miller Schmidt sticks and every time I see that I always think of him because he loved that board although I didn't really much care for it although in 1988 that board did have quite a nose on it I mean it wasn't quite a double kick but it had a really big upturned nose for 1988 and here's an airwalk ad
and it looks like Rob Ross got. And the Madrid van shoes, I remember those. Back when vans was still made in the USA. And the tracker board. I guess that's a team model. And Mike McGill gets the last two pages for an ad with skate rags. And Powell. And Vision Joe Johnson on the back. Well, I apologize for the crappiness of this video. I know now to not put it on the tripod. And uh, I'll show some more of my skate magazines coming up. I'm going to do a... Uh, yeah, I'm trying not even to schedule what I'm going to do because I don't know what I'm going to do. But I just want to try to keep a video up at least one a day just to keep in the you know keep practice with it and I do want to make a skateboarding video but I keep chickening out I don't I don't have any tricks so I really feel doofy just kinda of setting a camera up to have me roll and do nothing but we'll see I might might get my guts up to do that anyway thanks for watching everybody peace out